We're at the Twinbrook Hilton in Rockville, Maryland for the Capital Audio Fest 2022. I'm Howard Neller and welcome to The Listening Chair. Hi, Howard. Um, I'm Vinny Rossi I'm with Vinny Rossi Audio. I'm at Capital Audio Fest 2022, partnering up with The Voice That Is. That's Doug White's company. We're sharing the room uh, with Vinny Rossi Electronics, Tidal Audio, Loudspeakers, and uh, DAC Streamer, which he'll get into next. Um, what I'm going to talk about is the Brahma preamplifier and power amplifiers. Okay. So the Brahma amplifier... Uh, Excuse me, the Brahma preamplifier uh, is a new dual mono design. Okay. Um, it's featuring uh, balanced in, balanced out, also 300B triodes, one per channel. Okay. So we're running triodes, uh, we're running a 1750 volt amp power supply that gets continuously monitored, not just for over voltage, but under voltage. And it also has uh, built in sensors for temperature and um, we are feeding this into the Brahma stereo power amplifiers and in this system we're using one per channel and treating them as monoblocks. Okay and you said you're using 300 B's? Yes. And and that's an unusual choice I would, I would imagine. For, for a preamplifier it's unusual. Um, typically you'll find them in a power output stage for like an SET amp but we're taking 300 B mainly for its sonics and we're and it's fine linearity and extended bandwidth. And what we're doing is we're running the triode as a voltage gain device. Okay. Um, the Brahma preamplifier features adjustable gain settings. So you could go fine tune it for your speaker sensitivity, also for um, the rest of your system. Okay. And each input out of the five inputs, you could, they are memory inputs. So you could have separate gain settings for each separate adjustments for balance, phase, um, gain, as I mentioned, and also the triode itself, you could dial in how much of the triode you want from zero, 25, 50, 75, or 100%. So you could go fully solid state, fully triode only, or a mix in between. That is cool. So what do you like, when you're listening, what do you usually, it depends 100% like, triode. 100% triode, well, yeah. If you want to, the character of the triodes give. Why does that not surprise me? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's no feedback, so you're going to get a triode, you're going to get an extra second harmonic, but I like what it adds because it's not so much, um, it's it's not so much that the solid state is dry, it just doesn't have the extra bloom and warmth mm -hmm. and the richness in the vocal perhaps, like that you'll get with solid state. Mid-range, yeah. Yeah, so that's one of the, the benefits, it's the space, it's the sound stage and this extra layering the triode will give. Typically, it's harder to do with solid state, and it just has its own characteristic, and you could tube roll and find, you know, the optimal 300B of your choice. Okay. Um, and then from there, we're feeding, I mentioned the, the power amplifiers. These are Class AB MOSFET. Okay. 300 watts into 8 ohm, four, sorry, 600 into 4 ohm. Okay. And this is also using a custom 1750VA transformer, dual mono, so we have separate power supply stages for left and right, just like we do with the preamplifier. Okay. Um, Absolutely gorgeous. I can see the build quality is, is really impressive. Thank you. Yeah. And then the remote control that uh, runs it is its own custom design as well, and that's like a, kind of like its own component in its own way we designed it from the ground up, where it has a um, full menu structure where you could pretty much dial in all your different um, settings like we were talking about and control them from the palm of your hand and see them, you know, with its own display. Can I look at the tube status from the remote? Absolutely. <laughs> That's cool. So you can see what the triode setting is, and as you go through your inputs, it's automatically going to show you what your settings are. Um, there's also a system menu where there's diagnostics. So if you had, let's say, uh, a shorted speaker output and you then um, had overcurrent, it'll tell you or if there's over temperature or things, you could adjust the brightness, the gauges in the front of the unit, right, right. you could adjust as well. The gauges are beautiful. Those it's are all analog gauges. Um, you can see that, it's, it's, it's like a watch, watch quality. Yeah, you can go from VU mode, volume mode, and then on the left, 
you're looking at things like input balance, gain, and triode percent. Great. All in the Great. remote. Very cool. And, and what about the amplifiers? Anything else remarkable? Amplifiers have uh, power meters built in front, as you can see. There's wattage meters. Right. Um, Did you mention the, um, the output? It's a Class AB MOSFET design. It's two ohm stable. Okay. It's um, high bandwidth, dual mono supply, um, very clean, short signal paths, adjustable gain on the amplifiers as well through the remote. So via the remote, you could adjust a low or high gain on the amplifier itself. Okay. And when I talk about adjusting of gain, it's just getting the optimal response for the system and the sensitivity of the speakers. Right. We're using a premium WBT binding posts. Beautiful. And um, over 1,000 microfarads of capacitance per channel. Okay. With that power supply. Very nice. Very nice. Great. And um, then, yeah. Yeah, well, I'm going to hand it over to Doug. He wants to talk more about. First, we'll start with the source, which, you know, we are starting here and then bring it over to the speakers. Sounds great. Thank you okay. very much. And Thanks, Howard. I'm looking forward to hearing you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Hi, Howard. My name is Doug White. I'm the owner of the Voice That Is Audio out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania area and dealer for Vinny Rossi as well as Tidal Audio. I am also the U.S. brand ambassador for Tidal Audio. I'd like to bring attention to a couple of new products that we have here at Capital Audio Fest 2022. The first being the Tidal Contros Preamplifier Streamer DAC. This particular unit is designed to make the digital consumer very comfortable with a simple solution by offering them connectivity of a simple ethernet cable, a power cord, XLR is out. In this particular case, we're not using the preamplifier stage because we're using Vinny Rossi's fabulous preamplifier. We go out of this XLR into the preamplifier and out of the preamplifier, of course, and the amplification into the speakers. I'm not sure if it's beautiful. I'm not sure if it translates into video, but <laughs> just the way this thing's crafted, just the knobs are, are just... Oh, famous. yeah, they're known for how smooth this knob is, and it's a very simple function. The one button to turn it off or on, and then you choose network or AES input, digital input, title link for their proprietary connections to other um, titled the products as well as USB. So this is a full okay. function preamplifier. Okay. Brand new and uh, offers the uh, user a very simple digital uh, product. Awesome. Over here I'd like to point out the all new Tidal Piano. In this particular case we're talking about the G3. Mm -hmm. Tidal has taken the Piano G2 which was already a reference product and have found a way to actually make it better. Title doesn't, historically, will not just bring out an incremental product. What they do is they actually wait until they can actually make a product completely better, new, all through and through. With the Piano G3, we're talking about an all new cabinet, all new drivers, all new uh, um, crossover as well as isolation. This particular product is quieter, it is more resolving, it is more open, and how did it get there? They do that by developing the drivers to their specification. And a lot of people say, okay, well, this driver is made by that company and this driver is made by another company. Well, Title designed these products. You don't find this particular driver or these, any of the Title drivers anywhere else other than on a Title product. This is an all-new tweeter developed by them. Diamond tweeter, of course. There is no mechanical connection between this tweeter and the actual cabinet. It, it's basically a floating tweeter. Okay. Okay? All-new drivers. This particular model is a two-and-a-half-way speaker. Okay? There's a jumper in the back. We remove that jumper, and it can become a two-way. Add the jumper, we have a two-and-a-half-way. It's a full range product. We're in a room right now that is like 22 by 35 feet with a nine foot or so ceiling. We're able to, with the, with the, uh, the benefit of the Vinnie Rossi Electronics, we're able to get everything that is possible out of a two and a half way speaker in this room. So the all new Piano G3 is an evolutionary process of title in their entire line. You'll see some other benefits coming 
in the future um, from title, from development of the things that they do with this particular product. Okay, Very I'm proud to be able to be rep a dealer representing both of these brands and I hope that you're having a great time here. Awesome. And what material is surrounding the, the drivers? Is, uh, these drivers, it's actually a ceramic. Okay. Okay. Um, designed for them. Actually, people have said that they have the same drivers at Tidal. If you see black drivers, it's Tidal. If you see gray or white, it's just a generic off-the-shelf part. Okay. Okay. So that's the quickest way to tell whether or not it's a title product. First of all, if you see a four millimeter badge down at the bottom that says title audio, that's the first thing you know you, you, that you have the real thing. There is no second choice. This is their absolute entry into the product line. From here, what you go to is the next model up, you increase scale but you're not getting a compromise with the piano. I got, I got it. Same sound quality, maybe bigger room. Same qu sound quality. Um, you go from a two and a half to a three way. Uh, you'll get more of everything. Right. You know, more clarity, more imaging, more, in the case of a three way, more bass. Uh, but you're not getting a compromised product with an absolute entry piano G3. Awesome. So Doug, I assume anybody's interested in Finding out about the product, pricing, and things of that nature should contact your company? They should contact me at The Voice That Is, um, Doug at TheVoiceThatIs.com, and I can talk to you about anything, whether it's the Vinnie Rossi Brahma series or the all-new piano, piano G3. Well, great. Uh, we hope you're having a great show, and uh, thanks for having us. Thank you very much for the opportunity to talk to you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.